Welcome to our first motorhome video of 2024 and we're actually at Scarborough and it's early February and that's us there and the castle in ruins is there so we're going to go see what we can find in the town the good news is we're on a free parking deal as they we're free uh, in February it's actually a purpose-built skate park here not very far from where we parked unfortunately I've forgotten my skateboard so we're just ascending these very windy twisty turny paths all the way up to the castle to see what we can find well it was quite a popular park up last night uh, we did have a bit of noise that's uh, Talbot down there and uh, a few boy racers they disappeared around 10 o'clock and they were one on blast and then after that the biggest noise was caused by the wind and it's conveniently located near a, a toilet block the price of spending a penny is 40 pence Get okay, sent up Katrina. Up here. You're going up. Are you ready? Yeah. No chance. <laughs> Slippy as hell. Upper corn brush. If you're in a hurry, you can always use the steps to speed things up a bit. Obviously the higher you climb, the view gets even more rewarding and I think we're pretty close to the top now Well, Albert Park so we're off to go find Bronte's grave. Yeah, some lovely buildings in Scarborough. That's where we've came from, that arch there in the distance. And some nice cottages here. Could be a perk of being a coast guard. We're getting a little closer. Well, after a couple of misleading signs taking us either side of the cemetery we found the actual grave and it was a lot easier than we were led to believe so we've got Ambronti's grave signposted it was signposted down this way then signposted that way but actually if you are looking for it it's right up at the top near that um, big monument and that seat where the people are sat. That is where the grave is. So it's a bit bonkers, this signage, but hey-ho. The 50-odd steps? They were about 50-odd, I counted. So we did say this time we're visiting we are going to get something we're not sure where or what but we're going to buy something probably to consume while we're here well here's where we could make a purchase i can feel it coming we didn't really want to have some some rock we just buy the harbour we'll go check out sea bay be careful not to get fleeced History box. David. You see? 
I've just opened the door. It starts talking to you. Welcome to the world's smallest heritage centre. <laughs> It's quirky, isn't it? It's a good repurposing for telephone boxes. You just spend hours in there. If you're not claustrophobic. Well, we still haven't made a purchase. I do like seeing the little boats bobbing up and down in the harbour. There's no shortage of lobster pots here. I know. Well, this is quite quirky here. In case we totally lose where we are with things. It's a mine of information. I wonder if he knows in there how it works. Probably not. I just tried breaking and entering, but it's locked. You tried breaking and entering to a police box. <laughs> I was like... Is somebody off duty? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, we're at the market, and they also mentioned some vaults. We're not sure what we're going to find here. Well, these are the vaults. A lot of quirky little shops, from what I can deduce. So we're now in the main market. Just having a look round. So I'm officially going underground. Going underground. <laughs> well, they've been going underground for a while. We got here. Oh. In here. This is an interesting experience. A bit zen, isn't it? Yeah, Jones. that's right. <laughs> Public box. Oh, that's a little surprise. Yeah. Under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. And we're not going to take the tram, we're going to walk round. Last night we did take the steps as it were closed. And we knew about it when we got to the top. And off she goes. Now it's good to see something that was built in 1881 still going strong. With a little bit of help and restoration along the way, no doubt. That's where I've come down before, down there. What, Coney Island? No, down that, like a street on the bottom here. Yeah. You can see sand being blown in wind. Good, isn't it? It is. If it were busy, everybody would be getting it all in the sandwiches now. They would that, yeah. And all their ice cream. Yeah, I was just thinking it's stuck on ice cream. It's a good <laughs> food ruiner. They want to go in there for some fish and chips so we can eat them. Yeah, why not? 
I always like to have fish and chips when I'm walking on the seafront, do you? Of course. <laughs> I weren't expecting this kind of fish and chips on seafront. Well, you know me. I've been done. <laughs> we all get done at some stage. Hey ho. Oh, it's a nice building here. Heritage Trail. You know the one about going camping? I didn't mean up here. <laughs> no, I don't know what's happened with that tent. <laughs> oh God. Well, it does say there, danger. Beware dangerous cliffs. <laughs> I think we just worked out here. This is the coastal erosion area. So they've built all this walkway and there's measures in place to prevent any further erosion. It's quite nice actually. Yeah, and there are things you might see here on Marine Drive. It's quite a good walk this, all the time we're on it. We keep seeing these little reminders of things you know like snapshots in time and I do remember when that hotel did slide into the sea back in I didn't realize it was that long ago but it was 1993 I can remember people were selling t-shirts with it as uh, most of the building was still up and it was just like the annex in the sea flipping back to the Anne Bronte theme We've uh, just learned that she died age 29, suffering from tuberculosis. This has got to be one of the noisiest roads ever. Last night when we got here, we wondered what on earth was wrong. And don't park up if you're in a, a motorhome here. If you, you are discriminated against. 11 while 7 and rumour has it you will get a ticket well it has been a bit blowy the good news is we're getting very near and there's many a motorhome enjoying life by the seafront and here's another information plaque there's honestly too many to show you Nice day for a dip. I think I'll be uh, taking a rain check on that. What do you think? Oh, this cold water swimming's really popular at the minute, though. It's not going to be good if you get smashed into the rocks, though, will it? Well, there's some of the surfboards. You get more than what you bargained for there. He's not the only one. There's another one over there. There's a lot. Yeah. Looks a bit ferocious to me. Well, it's goodbye to Scarborough from us. And on his way out, I think we'll just show you exactly how, the, yeah, how, how, many, many, how many people are here. Yeah. Look at the number of uh, water homes that are all parked up on here. That is the uh, water closet and there's an Elsom uh, toilet emptying point, chemical toilet point. There we go. Happy days, February in uh, Scarborough. Everybody's out having a bit of fresh air, having a walk on the seafront. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, you never know where we'll end up next.